Hi, this is Robbie with Tickner Photography. This weekend I went down to the Ocean Beach Pier to take some sunset pictures, and they turned out pretty cool. I went with the purpose of doing some HDR, because sunsets are notoriously difficult. There's, they're just so bright, and some places are very dark. The modern sensor just doesn't have the dynamic range to capture the whole image or to give it this much color or life. So let me show you kind of what I mean. This is an HDR composite, but if we look at the three shots that I started with, this is a pretty much normal exposure. It's actually a little bit underexposed. Then there's minus three stops and plus three stops. So you can see in the plus three, you can actually see this. You can kind of see the bridge a little bit. Minus three, you can really see the clouds. And then at normal, you can't really see much of this driftwood. It's dark, you can't really see much of the bridge. The sky, uh, the sunset is pretty close to blown out. And if we look at the develop settings on here, this is already using basically complete recovery. Straight from the camera, we're at this. So we could recover some shadows using the raw file and lighten it up quite a bit, but the the sunset, the clouds just aren't going to have the same effect. So this is where HDR can come into play. So one thing to note, while I was taking this shot, I saw this bird fly across. And the bird's moving, and because of this, it's probably going to leave a ghosted shadow here where the HDR doesn't have information behind the bird in one of these shots. So I saw this while I was taking it, so then I took two more shots effectively identical to the first set, just without the birds. So when I so I'll be able to do two separate HDRs and merge them in Photoshop just so I have the right background there. So let's HDR these images. I'll grab the first three bracketed set and I'll export to Photomatix Pro. These are my settings. I was on a tripod, but I typically match by feature. I have it automatic deghosting. I could try and do it manually with a bird, but I have a second set, so I won't really bother with that. Typically noise reduce the uh, underexposed image and export a 16-bit TIFF. So let's go with this. Uh... All right, so now into Photomatix, we can see our intermediate HDR, we're going to tone map and fusion. And just as we suspected, we're getting a little ghosted outline of the bird. And that's fine because we're going to fix that later. Our settings are pretty good. This just takes playing around to see exactly what you're looking for. Sunset. I kind of have the feeling that a sunset is a concept. It's it should be really saturated, it should make you think sunset. So it's a little bit surreal, but I kind of like it. So I might go medium to give a little bit more light to this driftwood here. Let's see here. Bring things up just a little bit. A black point is actually okay. For temperature. It's actually a kind of chilly day, but I like to give a little bit extra warmth to a sunset. It just seems to fit. Micro smoothing gives a little bit extra smoothness to the sky, which is good. Highlight saturations. That'll be one of our shadows pretty smooth. Our shadow clipping seems to be fine. So for a baseline, this will do for now. So we'll re-import this. Okay, so we've re-imported our tone mapped image. Now we're going to make an HDR with our next three without the flying bird, and we'll export it with the exact same settings. Okay, so now we have two, both of our images tone mapped and hdr so here's the one without the bird. There's the one with the bird. See there's a little bit of movement in the sky. 
this bird kind of changed position and this wave came in. So I like a lot about this image better. I kind of like the way the cloud looks. I like this wave here versus not come in yet. But I like the bird in its shadow. So I'm going to use this as my background plate. I'm going to paste this bird, or I'm going to mask this bird in. And we'll also take maybe a few pieces from the very far underexposed image. Maybe get a little bit more contrast in the clouds. So we'll get both of our HDR images and the underexposed image of the one that we like. So edit, open as layers in Photoshop.